is Throne and Liberty a pay to win uh, game? I'm going to give you my impression and I'll tell you the real answer that everybody has been asking. Uh, the answer is it depends on how you perceive the end game. Uh, the reason is because when you play this game, you're going to be faced with a challenge. And that challenge is how strong do you want to be uh, when you do whatever you're doing. So if you're doing world boss or dungeons or uh, guild v guild or open world PvP or arenas. So it depends how powerful you want to be at the end game because I'm going to show you something. You see, this is my gear. This is my gear right now and I'm like blue and I have greens. So this is really not important when, you know, when you're thinking about end game. What's important is if you have epic gear. So in order to be strong when you re reach level 50, you want to get epic gear like this guy over here. See, this is an epic gear, but I cannot wear that yet uh, because the one, the blue gear that I have is more, uh, is better for now. So I need to get the mats to, in order to, um, to enhance these epic gear but here's the issue in order to enhance these purple gear you need to have like like i said the mats and one way to do it is to actually use the uh, blue gear to level them up let me see if it works so if i click this and if i click transfer i oh, know sorry if i click transfer this so i don't have the blue gear the blue gear cannot be used for some reason and i don't know why so I should have the blue pants that I have right now. Oh, because maybe I have it equipped. Let me double check something. So if I do this, right? If I do this, so this one is equipped. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to use this. All right. You need to unequip it from all your sets, by the way. So if I go back and try it again, if I go to transfer, if I, if I click this guy, now the blue gear appears. So there you go. So I could use this guy. Uh, you have to unequip it, by the way, to all your tier sets. And then you will be able to use it to upgrade your epic gear, which will give you like 600%. And it will bring you to level six as you see over here it's going to bring you to level six right away but you don't want to do that you want to wait to like you see if you want to level this up i uh, highly recommend that you use level up over here click this guy over here you want to use your precious armor growth stone all the way to level seven and the reason i say that is because when you reach level seven it's going to cost you more precious armor growth stone as you level up at level seven so you want to reach level seven before you use the transfer over here and do this and do this because at level seven you will be able to reach level nine which will be more cost efficient for you anyway the, the reason why i say it's pay to win is that you see the trade over here the the lock trade so in order to unlock these trade you need to be able to get the same type of pens so you need, i need to grind the same type of pens and trying to grind the same type of pens in this game is tedious because it is tedious it gives you it gives you like a solution like a faster solution to get those straight and i'm gonna show you where it is so if i go in my inventory and if i click uh, my pants where did this one over here and if i go to trait list so let's say okay what do i have range evasion so let's say you want to have magic evasion you're gonna click this right and you're gonna click this guy over here trait and as you can see here, it's going to cost you 420 Lucent, uh, which is a different currency than the Solent. So this is Solent, this is Lucent. So it's different currency. So unless you have uh, Lucent, you will not be able to buy the Magic Evasion trade that you need. So if you want Magic Evasion, you will have to have Lucent. And as you can see, a lot of people are selling the same thing. Now, the reason I'm showing you this right now is because at the end game, you need to ask yourself, do you want to be strong right now or do you want to be strong later? Because the thing is, if you say to yourself, I need to be strong right now, you have no choice but to use the auction house in order to help you to go faster. Now, do you have to? No, you don't. But here's the thing. If you want to be strong in this game because you're going to do end game like dungeons or open world PvP or guild v guild, if you're not strong enough, the other people are going to kill you faster so you will be at lost and this is why a lot of people say it's pay to win because you are indirectly forced to use the auction house in order to acquire what you need to enhance your gear and that's why people are kind of like not very enthusiastic about and 
The other thing is that the lucen is not used by the solen, meaning that in order to get lucen, there is only two ways to acquire them. When you reach level 40, all right, because in order to use the auction house, you need to be level 40. You can only sell few like different type of items, such as gemstone. So I'm going to show you. So over here, you see these gemstone over here? So you see it says 0 to 17 uh, trade price. So I can make up to uh, 17 uh, solent by selling these. So if I click this guy, and if I go over here, search auction house. So I got 985 people who are selling the same thing for 1.5789 solent. Holy crap. So people like, look, if you, if I get to sell this, which you get at around level 50, because this is like a level 50 zone, I believe, uh, you can make 1.4 solen, which is nothing, which is nothing. And it is saturated because in this game, the auction house only allows you to sell few items in order to make soda solent. It's not like in Guild Wars 2 where you have gazillion types of items or elements that you can sell for gold and you can get rich of. In Guild Wars 2 or even World of Warcraft, you can make gold, like a lot of gold, by selling different types of items. But in this game, you can only sell these type of things like the gems or the extraction. Or sometimes if you're lucky, you can sell like um, weapon. See, if you get a weapon drop, you can sell that for 6,000 and... 400 solen and there's 24 is there 24 people so there's four people who sell it at 6400 solen but here's the problem here's the problem guy people who play this game nobody have solen you remember when i showed you the gemstone that is sold for 1.6 solen so if you're free to play and you're trying to make solen in this game you're not going to get rich so the only way for you to get 6400 solen is this way you see the shop over here that's the cash up. Go all the way down. Lucen. 500 Lucen for $14. For $14. 1,125 Lucen for $26. So when you saw 6,000... 6,500 Lucent for the the uh, the great sword, the epic great sword. Look how much it would cost you. And this is Canadian. $135 Canadian in order to get that epic great sword. So that you can get stronger faster there is your pay to win there is your pay to win guys now you're gonna say do i have to buy do i have to buy these loose cents over here no you don't like i said from the start it depends how you see this game do you want to get stronger now or do you not mind to wait like two weeks, three weeks, six months in order to get the same gear? Because you see the gear that I just showed you. Let me show you something. You see that gear over here? You can still get it for free if you grind a world boss. So if you go to map and if I go over here. So I don't know which world boss it is. But these world boss over here, they will drop specific gear and weapon, right? So if you get these drop there is a possibility that you can get it for free. But I'll be honest with you guys. I've been playing this game for like a week and a half now, I think. And I got zero of these drop so far. The only time I got Epic Gear is through open world farming. And again, it's RNG. So if you want to get this gear over here, which sells for a lot of, of Solent right now, you're going to have to do this world boss many, 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 many times before you actually get a drop. And unless you want to keep it for yourself, then, you know, like you can sell it. But then if you sell this, you got to bear in mind that other people are selling the same thing. So if I go back over here and I click this guy over here, see, there's four people selling the same thing. There's two people selling this guy. Uh, there is eight people selling this guy. Is it the same sword? Let me double check. Oh, the traits. So the traits are different. So you got, okay, so you got max mana. You got hit chance. Okay, it's all the same thing, but the traits are different. Stun chance. So stun chance is the one you want if you want to stun people. Uh, hit chance is good too, but max mana, I don't think so. Crit hit chance is very good. 10,000. Whoa, that's a lot of money. If I calculate the price you would have to pay, it would be around almost $200. You would have to spend $200 right away just to get this uh this sword over here so six thousand six hundred so that's two <laughs> that's almost 270 dollar before tax 270 dollar before tax to get that great sword 
holy shit guy uh yeah so is it pay to win i would say it depends on you if you don't mind to grind that great sword without having to buy anything then it is not paid to win it is not paid to win but if you want to get stronger right away because you want to be a pvp god war because you want your guild to be the winner or you want to be number one in everything you do either as dps either as healing either as pvp whatever if you want to be number one and you want to be stronger than everybody else then it is paid to win indirectly because you will feel forced to enhance your gear through the the auction house while you have to buy lucent which is a different currency than solen see solen i have eight million so I could, I wish I could use my Solon to buy this sword, but you can't. And I have zero Lucen. So you will feel the need to buy in real cash money to get these currencies in order to get stronger, faster. Here's your answer to your question. Is it pay to win? It depends on you. Uh, me, I'll be honest with you. I'll give you my final conclusion, uh, what I think about this game. I don't really do a lot of guild v guild because I'm not part of any guild. Um, I don't do a lot of PvP. Like, I don't do arenas. I don't do um, open world PvP. You know, I try not to engage because I know I will get one shot kill by somebody who spent like $500 in cash shop in order to buy Lucent, in order to get all the trades, all the epic gear. So this is what you're gonna see in PvP most of the time. So this is what they use. They will use dagger and greatsword. Now I'm low level, but this is just to show you what they do usually. Uh, they will use this spell over here, Shadow Strike. But first, before they use Shadow Strike, they will use camouflage. So they're gonna use this first, you know, stealth attack. When they are stealth, they're gonna use this guy over here, Shadow Strike, and then they're gonna follow up with a stunning blow, and then they're gonna continue with death blow which should be sufficient to kill you you will get one shot kill and this is what they do usually i cannot camouflage i don't have cloak so I'll imagine that i'm stealthed and i'm gonna go here so i'm gonna go behind you well let's say let's say this is you and i'm gonna do this 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 and this and you're dead so this is a perfect situation of what I showed you and this happens all the time like every PvP, public, area, whatever you're always going to have one of these guys that's going to do the same thing over and over again and that's because any any lobbies or anyone that started playing this game you don't have a trinket we don't have a trinket so it is unavoidable and they one shot kill you anytime they want so watch carefully see there's nobody right he stealth it somewhere there we go. Okay, he, yeah. He used more than three spells. I think it was four spell. So, yeah. So, no matter, it's still, like, very cheesy since uh, low bees, we don't have any trinkets. Nobody has trinkets unless you grind it at level 50 and you don't see it coming. So, because they silenced you for four seconds, I don't know if you have noticed, but I was trying to click a spell for defense and I couldn't. Like, look. Look over here at the bottom. So, look at the bottom over here. You will notice I'm trying to click anything that no, nothing works you see nothing works for a second one more time see i'm clicking 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 can't cast any spell so basically i cannot cast any spell because i'm silenced i cannot move because i'm stunned and all he has to do is to finish me off with two spells and that's it that's why they, i think that pvp is broken and i don't know if it was intentional for this to be like this but the devs should reconsider the fact that you know like you shouldn't have to wait at level 50 to get a trinket in order to break stun you shouldn't have to wait all that way so that's why i don't do pvp in this game because like i said it's unfair unbalanced and it's kind of worthless to try to you know to defend yourself against people who are overpowering you with like few spells you know that's kind of dumb but that's the way it is i guess like seriously guys if you want to be like number one in everything you'll have you would have to spend maybe five thousand ten thousand dollar right away then you will get maybe maybe more maybe less i don't know so i hope that this video explains to you better if it is pay to win or not. And if you like this video, please like and sub. Thanks for watching. Cheers. There was once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too. Sneaking looks up and down from across the room. Damn, what a hell of a view. I feel good. 
You look great, I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time, to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me 